What's up everybody, it's Elijah Porter back again with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we gonna get right into it. Now this video is gonna be on debt, right? How you can make money from debt. Now the first thing I'm gonna go over is how we were taught to use like credit cards and stuff like that. And we're taught to like not have a lot of debt, right? So this is how we were taught, right? You get a credit card, you know, you might get gas, might get gas, uh, you know, I don't know, snacks, whatever you use for your credit, your credit card, All right, Just, just little purchases so you can pay them off at the uh, end of each month without no problem. Don't go too crazy because then you're not going to be able to pay it off and your credit score is going to drop, stuff like that. That's, that's what we're taught, right? But if you... Do your research. The Fortune 500 companies, which is like the Teslas, Walmarts, all the big companies, they all got tons and tons and tons of debt. But how are they still Fortune 500 companies if they got tons of debt? If debt is really that bad, All right? You got to think of it. You got to just, it, life is all about perception. So like you really just got to think about these things. So once you think about it, if debt is so bad, how are they still making all this money, right? If wealthy people have a lot of debt, but they're wealthy, how is it really that bad? I'm going to show you how these companies and how these wealthy people use debt to make money instead of using it like this, right? So yeah, that's what that's how we were told to use debt. I mean, credit cards, right? Which is debt because you have to. That's money you owe. All right, this is how the Fortune 500 companies and um, like wealthy people use debt to make money. So let's say um, you got a credit card or a loan, right? They're both, they're both debt once you spend it. So they use the loan to buy an asset, right? They loan into an asset instead of a liability right we we're taught to use credit cards we all we do is get liabilities with it we go on a shopping sprees you go like i said gas anything that's a, a liability is just not putting cash flow in your pocket an asset is putting cash flow in your pocket so this is what they do they get a loan then they buy an asset right which produces cash flow And guess what they can do with this cash flow? They take the cash flow and they pay off the loan with the cash flow. So the, the debt is paying itself by the asset that they that they um, invest that debt into. They pay off the loan while this is still producing cash flow for them. For example, let's just say this is real estate. Yeah. real estate so they get the loan and then they which which is now they're in debt and then they buy a piece of real estate with it right it could be a multi-family or whatever like that they put a tenant in it and the tenant pays rent right which can put which puts cash flow in their pocket and the tenant is paying down the debt which is the loan that goes towards the loan, right? So if you, you use debt in a way where you buy an asset instead of a liability with the loan slash or credit card too, you can buy an asset with the credit card and it produces cash flow for you, which in return pays off the debt. And then you can just, it's like a cycle they always are in debt, but they're always make money from the debt that they're in, which pays off the debt, right? That is how debt can actually make you money instead of like we're taught to not spend that much, don't do this, don't do that, right? Which is the liabilities are not making us any money with, what, with how we were taught to use credit cards and stuff like that right so that is how you make that's how debt can actually make you money it doesn't have to be real estate it could be any business 
right? It could be a rental car business, right? You can loan for a car, but the car is turned to an asset because you're renting it out. And then the people that drive the car pay back the loan for you. And it continues to put cash in your pocket, right? It doesn't have to just be real estate. It can be any business, any asset that's producing money for you. But that's how debt can actually make you money. And this is the stuff that they don't teach you in school. So that's my video for today. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all later.